Kidding? Uh, really? Whatever. Just open it. Okay, okay. A small key and... A gun? Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... Are these real bullets? <laughs> If this is real, oh. You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. 
It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? Of course not. We'll take that with us. Long hallway, huh? Let's check it out. We've seen this elevator before. We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Yeah. It works! I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to C Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. All right. Let's open it. Huh. The nine door. <laughs> of course it wouldn't be that easy. Vacant. Huh. We finally found it. J jumpy Huh? Look! Behind you! What? A nine door. There's another one. Why? It's nine, no matter how you look at it. The red is there too. So this is a real one? hell are there two doors? <laughs> there were always two doors. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. Ah. <sighs> Fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through not divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The digital root for both teams would be nine. Or 2349 and 15678, the digital root is still 9. There are a bunch of combinations that work and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of 9, so would the other one. What does that mean? The answer is simple. From the very beginning, the Nonary Gate was designed to save all 9 people. That's how it was meant to be. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one 9 door. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. There were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. This game was designed for that purpose. This notary game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. But if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now.
So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh... Our numbers are 1, 3, 5, and 6. The four of us can't open the number 9 door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the 9 door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Uh, are you sure? I, I don't mind staying. It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. Maybe I'll get to go to Atlanta. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> you guys. Very well. Best we head back to Sea Deck, then. We Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from Door One. But even with all seven of us... Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Let's find the other three first, and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Come to think of it... What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony, but what kind? Huh. A coffin? What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey, Junpei! The hell are you doing? Let's move! Right, okay. I'll be right there. Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> We figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. We figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Very well, then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. All right, just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? That's where her... well... Good. We, we should, thanks. No luck. Yeah. The sm let's check... No, she's not... Just where did your... Uh, such a hole. The skull shattered, the left arms hideously twisted. Wait, bones. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. The accident hurt him really... Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Uh, 
Jude, did, did something happen? Clover is... Clover is dead. I found her in the first class bathroom. Clover, why? Clover, no way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Yes. You should get some rest. Here, can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey! Guys! I found her, but it's bad! She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin! Come quick! Then I went back to the bathroom. Ace, Santa, and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that... I Seven. Th what? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh. You think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <laughs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door 5 again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? This is... Rust? If, if there's, there's rust, rust here... That means... has someone opened the safe? Uh. Uh. Huh? Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door, the ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah. Oh, the hell? This, this smell is... Uh. It's... it's gone. His bracelet. It's gone. It was right next to the glasses. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Uh. No, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it? Clover. <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. And I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Did him well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. The left hand. Hmm. Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Truth. Hmm.
about switching the gone had true Well that makes even less sense. Clearly switching the Maybe there's something of truth. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, they sounded the same. How about reading them backwards? Gone and Enog and Dirt. Ugh, what am I saying? Ugh, those aren't even words. Wasn't a bad idea though. What else could Gone and Truth mean? Truth. You could then safely assume that Gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. The left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking out. So if I... Wait, did it just... One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? Hmm. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. One, four, three, eight. One four, one four three, one four three, huh. one four and oh, bingo! I... Oh, is... let's see. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying? Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. <laughs> huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What kind of question? 
Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. W what? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals 19. One plus nine would be 10. The digital route would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? Huh? huh? You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. Th to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <sighs> Ace, you have prosopagnosia. Am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia. Very well. I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me for my disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I have three pieces of evidence. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. <laughs> then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door 7 and 8. There was no way we could get through door 3, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X, Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. Oh god. No. That's impossible. Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. 
Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> Two, Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that, or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you, so you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The nonary game was played the person. It was... What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! Me. You said me, right? <gasps> Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, First of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope, you could have. <laughs> Huh? What? Actually, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No! You couldn't have! I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the Ninth Man's Bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> if you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Junpei. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root, as you can see. Nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus, the knife the ninth man had used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. 
It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the Nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the Nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room 1 a.m. bell rang. Uh, Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the Central Stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't act, act as if you don't understand. understand. You were in the, were captain's, in the captain's quarters, quarters weren't you? Uh-huh. What, what are you talking about? Hmm. Very well. Uh, By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. You aren't going anywhere. Oh! You're staying here. No! <laughs> Don't you run, little girl. That was how I killed Clover. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> I admit it. I've lost. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I looked the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes, and that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. It follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. I think Zero is one of us. Huh? Zero is one of us? No, 
Wait, there's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room is in Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere, laughing at us? If he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he... watching us? Well, I believe I've finished with my confession. What the hell is this shit?! You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! Huh! <laughs>